Hey guys, this is the second at home program, which has been designed to be that little bit more challenging than the first one. It does, however, work towards getting those large muscle groups working as well as using a lot of our stabilizer muscles. It can be performed just by using your body weight. However, feel free to add in some weights if you have them available to you. All you need is a dining table chair. We have three blocks to complete in this workout, starting with the lower body movement block. You will complete four exercises, one after the other, take a short break, and then complete the four exercises again and again. This meaning we go through each block three times. First up is our squat. Ensure your feet are shoulder width apart and you are standing tall with your hands interlocked behind your head. Bend at your knees, keeping all your weight through the heels of your feet and push your bum backwards. We want to try and get a 90 degree angle, take a pause at the bottom and then return to the original starting position. Ensure to keep your knees pushed out, tracking over your toes and try not to rock forward into the front half of your foot as you complete the squat. We want to maintain the weight in our heels and work through our quadriceps and our glutes. Following this, we will perform alternating lunges. Start standing upright with your hands on your hips. When ready, step one foot behind you and slowly drop that knee towards the ground. Your back heel will be elevated, but keep all the weight and pressure in the front foot's heel. Keep that front knee tracking over the top of its toes and push through your quadricep to bring that back leg to a standing position. Alternate legs each rep. Be mindful to keep your core switched on to help with that balance throughout the whole motion. You want to try and get that back knee as close to the ground as you can. Up next is the single leg sit to stand. Using a dining table chair, stand slightly in front of it with your hands on your hips. Lift one foot off the ground and keep it elevated. While using the other leg, lower your body to sit on the chair. Lightly lift the foot and then using that same leg, push through your quadriceps and glutes to bring the body back to the standing position. Try to not let that elevated foot drop throughout the whole 10 reps on the one side. Keep your core engaged and stay nice and upright to maintain that balance. The final exercise for this block is a side lunge. Starting in an upright position with hands out in front of your body, take a large step out towards one side. Allow your body to follow this motion of the step and bend your knee towards this side. Ensure to push your bum backwards and try to get as low as you can. You should feel a big stretch through the inner thigh of your straight leg and you should activate those muscles throughout the inner thigh to bring yourself back to the standing position again. It is important to ensure your heel of the foot with the bent knee stays grounded. Your knee is pushed out towards the side it is tracking to. Keep your core engaged, shoulders pulled back and your head upright. We move on to the upper body movement block. Here we have four exercises, each to completed one after the other three times through. Take a short break in between rounds. To start us off, we have a push up. Bring yourself down onto your mat in a high plank position. Your hands should be directly under your shoulders, body in a nice straight line with your head in a neutral position. Your chin should be looking up. Bend through the elbows to take the body down towards the ground. Try and get as low as you can and then pressing through the palms of your hands, bring your body back to the original starting position. Ensure to have those elbows pointing slightly down your body, not flaring out to the side and focus on not hunching your shoulders up and causing tension through your neck. This movement can be performed on your knees or your toes. We head into our kneeling prayers press next. Our starting position for this exercise is on our knees in a high kneeling position. Bring both the palms together into a prayers pose and then connect both the forearms and elbows together too. You really want to push against each arm to cause that resistance. From here, elevate your arms up towards the sky whilst keeping that pressure on and then lower them back down. You should start to feel a burn throughout your chest and through your shoulders as you perform this movement. The harder you push against your arms, the more challenging it will be. Up next is the tricep dips with bent knees. Using the dining table chair, 
Place both palms on the edge of the chair with fingers curled over the front. Have your back nice and close to the chair and slowly bend at your elbows to lower your body towards the floor. You want to maintain your back connection to the chair throughout the whole motion and then push through the palms of your hands to bring yourself back upright. Ensure to keep your shoulders pulled back and try not to hunch over as you lower yourself down. You want to hit a 90 degree angle through those elbows. The closer your feet are to you, the easier it will be. So challenge yourself by taking them further out. To finish the upper body block, we are doing a high plank shoulder reach. Starting in our high plank position on a mat, have your feet a little wider than usual, your belly button put in towards your spine, a nice neutral posture, and your head looking directly to the ground below. Gently shift your weight into one hand and elevate the other hand to reach up and tap the opposite shoulder. Lower it back down and perform the same movement on the other side. Be sure to try and keep the body as still as possible. The only thing that should be moving is your arm and you want to be able to stabilize your hips by holding your core in tight and keeping that head in a nice neutral position. The final block is a core movement block. This block has three exercises, each to be performed one after the other, three times through. To begin, we are doing mountain climbers. We want these to be controlled and slow and to really focus on engaging the core. In our high plank position, with the feet a little bit wider than usual and a neutral spine and neck, bring one knee up towards the inside of the opposite elbow. Hold in this crunch position for one second and then take it back to this starting position. Perform the same movement on the opposite side. Try and maintain a nice neutral body throughout this whole process and ensure your belly button is being pulled up towards your spine to activate your core. Up next is the plank ankle reach. In our high plank position, gently shift your body weight back towards your heels by bending at the knees. Lift one hand off the ground and tap it on the opposite heel. Take the body back to the original position and then perform on the other side. It is important to keep your core switched on throughout this motion and to recenter yourself before each repetition when in the high plank. Our final exercise for this workout is the alternating leg lowers. Lying on your back, place your hands to either the side of the mat or underneath your bum. Have both of your legs above you in the air as straight as you can get them. Slowly lower one leg towards the ground, hover it a few centimeters off the floor and then bring it back up to meet the other leg. Perform this on the opposite side. Ensure to keep your back pressed against the ground at all times throughout this exercise. We want to make sure you are using your stomach muscles to lower and elevate the leg and that you are not putting any pressure on your back. 